straight into the Brad Doty humour. I like that. We're just going to wait for people to start joining us. We are here at the incredible National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. Brad, this place just never ceases to amaze me. How good is it? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, what they've done here and what it, what's done for the sport of sprint car racing, pretty incredible. And uh, just to be part of it every year and part of the festivities and the things that they do here, it, it's incredible. And, and you, it's open all year round, so people that aren't, you know, just passing through can stop in it, you know, and, and, and check it out. Yeah. There's a really nice yellow eco water car mm -hmm. down there in number 71. It's where I saw some guy wheel that thing at some place <laughs> called Eldora and win a pretty good chunk of change. It's nice to have your car down there, Kenny. Well, thanks, Wade. Every squirrel finds a nut once in a while. So <laughs> Speaking of nut that he night. found 100,000 nuts. Yeah, 100,000 <laughs> nuts in one night. Yeah. Right. Speaking of nuts, this is a fantastic lineup right here. This would be Ed Horton Shield, who's actually the more sensible of the Horton Shield family. I think that's pretty yeah. safe to say. So you're his younger brother, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's just got the youthful looks. Like that's, he's killing uh, us all, the, isn't he? The like hot shields don't age. That's what is fair. it about? <laughs> have you, do you visit the Ponds Institute? Are you just good with moisturizers? Is it just good genes? <laughs> not, not, not genes. I don't know what it is. Genes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess your parents and your parents before that were youthful looking people because you yes. don't age. Their oh, mom, yeah, the yeah. mom. I mean, she yeah. she my mom. She was seven now. when she was, when she was seven years old. She looked maybe fifty. Yeah, she yeah. just yeah, incredible. I bet she aged watching you occasionally. <laughs> yeah, I told her I might get back in a car, and she said, "No, you probably shouldn't do that. You might, uh, you know, it might not be a good thing. So <laughs> probably stay out of it." No, no, I'm pretty sure she's right. <laughs> So all you guys, obviously you, Ed, and you, Jack, had no choice but be friends because you're brothers. Mm -hmm. But these guys... Brothers doesn't make them happy. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Well, you've known each other your whole lives, yeah. so put it that way. Yeah. Um, but you guys have all been friends um, for a lot of years. Do we even want to guess how many years that, that's been? I don't know. Brad is like a brother. He grew up on a small farm right down from us, and he moved away about 20 miles or 30 miles, and we thought it was... Uh, you know, 100 miles away. Moving into state, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. but uh, uh, yeah, we were like brothers growing up, and then we met Kenny, yeah. Kenny a few years later. And how did you How did you guys meet? Was it a racetrack thing, or? Yeah, we were at the races, uh, actually. Uh, me and my brother went to a local track, and that's how we met Kenny. Yeah. Seen this car flip in the infield real slow, and <laughs> we met him that night. That's first lap tried. qualifying ever <laughs> yeah. in my life. Yeah. Really? I didn't make it through the first corner. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't give up. I showed them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were yeah. probably 16 so, then. Yeah. Really? I, I yeah. met you 50 years ago. Yep, exactly. Yep. 50 years ago. You guys wow. must have been five years old. <laughs> yeah, we were 10. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is Ed was a stud because he ran really good that night. Mm -hmm. And I thought, who is this kid? So that's how we met. Our dads all knew each other. They yeah, drove truck together. They drove truck together. But yeah. I didn't know. I went to school with Brad and didn't hardly know Brad at all. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're, 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 you're a part. Actually, my sister, Deb, was in your... No, she's older than me. Oh, I thought, yeah, okay, well, she's the one that... I thought she's the one that introduced it, but I thought you guys were in the same... But I know mm -hmm. you're a year older than me because I... You went to vocational school. One right? year. Well, does that mean he occasionally went to school? Is that, is <laughs> yeah. that what that means? Is that what that is? Occasional he school. spelled it wrong. Vocational school. I went to school with Brad one night and we go uh, one day and we got thrown out the first time there. Yeah. <laughs> we literally walked to town. They threw us both out. Yeah. yeah. I can't we, imagine we, you would have been a Hellcat. This we, one we, I can imagine. We he somehow was. back in those days you could go to, to another school with a student. I don't know if we just made it up or whatever. I we yeah. just, but I, but I, I went with Jack to his school. Well, I brought him to our school. And they said, you can't do that. He, he can't stay here. He can't be here. Yeah. I said, well, he can't be here. I don't need to be here. Yeah, we, so we just both left. <laughs> I was pretty certain you couldn't actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they threw him out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're breaking the rules already. Yeah. Even back then, you couldn't do that sort of uh, thing. No, no, they just thought they could. <laughs> where, where did racing come from, Ed, in, in your history, in your family? Were you guys, you know, was it entrenched in your psyche growing up? Like My dad, my dad raced. And uh, I wasn't really going to race. I was going to build him a car. And Dad said, well, are you scared to drive it? And I said, well, I'll try it. So I, I drove it, and I went out and won a race at a young age. And I thought, well, this is, this is kind of fun. Hmm. So, yep. Yeah. How long did you race for? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, 
Sacrifice. Oh, on and off. It was Damn, a long yeah. time. Yeah, quite, well, a, quite a few years. Arguably, yeah, he was probably a better all-around driver and mechanic than any of us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he... he he worked on most of our cars when we wrecked them and crashed them or something broke. We called Ed and Ed fixed it that week to get us going. And, and so, you know, he, he, and boy, he was quite a driver. Just didn't, just chose not to do it as a living. So you'd repair Jack's cars. A little bit, yeah. Boy, you must have been I busy. Yeah, <laughs> till it wore him out. Uh, Brad, the uh, first one he uh, crashed, he, he was going to get rid of it. And I said, no, we can cut it in two and we can put a front end on it and that and got it all ready for the next night. And I said, all right, all you gotta do is put the shocks on the front. I went home, he didn't put them on. There was more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, he literally He's come up and, 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 and I, the car was junk. It was a little <laughs> modified that Ed started in. When Ed got it, it was probably 20 years old and had a history to it, but it's the car he started in. I started in, it was a little modified and I got T-boned and it literally destroyed the frame. And I thought I was done and I was, 16 ed was 17 or maybe 18 but he he was the fabricator welded it got it back together but there was more than just the shocks there were seat belts the seat wasn't it and it was all and we'd worked all week i mean all kinds of hours uh -huh. and i showed up at the racetrack without the car and he said where's the car i said man i couldn't get it done and he was so mad at me but uh but anyway that's uh, that's you know what was that <laughs> all the rest was shocked <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get shocks on <laughs> i'm gonna guess it's about hard to imagine you mad jack him and anyhow. no it was ed so. oh ed was mad yeah, ed was mad yeah, yeah, yeah that's ed, what i was gonna say it's yeah, hard yeah. To, so you're the hothead yeah. of the family yeah. this is the guy that I doesn't was a peacemaker. Peacemaker. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he could have been racing. I was a peacemaker. So man. tell me about Ed as a driver, Jack. Like, what kind of wheeler was he? Uh, he was smooth. He was smooth. Yeah. Yep, he he didn't crash him a lot, and uh, uh, and he usually he's usually up front. He was usually on a straightaway at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So where did the smooth bit come from, Jack? I don't know where he got that. <laughs> I'm not sure. So what? Why? Why do you think? Did you just? have enough or was it a wreck or something when did you physically stop and why it uh, there was different there was different years tell them the truth why the first time the first time when you quit flaky oh geez uh, tell them the truth why <laughs> we're here for the truth Ed. <laughs> I don't know. there was a girl involved in this oh was that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tam wasn't supposed to know that no, no. Yeah, yeah not the one he's been married to forever but <laughs> i'm not gonna race so i'm gonna go home and marry this girl yeah, yeah. oh didn't yeah. marry the girl and didn't race either <laughs> so, yeah, long time ago. Okay, we so were, he was trying not to say that, Kenny, and I'm really glad that you brought it up. That's great. That's what friends are for, right, Brad? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, He's acting like he doesn't remember, but he remembers. <laughs> remember everybody saying he's got the best memory? Yeah. Yeah, how do you forget that? Yeah. Deli yeah. Deliberately. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you deliberately forget that. Wow. That's it. It's yeah. it. So you guys have been friends for how many years now? Oh, gosh. Well, um, like I said, Ed and Jack lived right down the street when, in Millersburg when, and from the time kindergarten till I moved between third and fourth grade. And then, like I said, Kenny's dad and their dad, were I mean, they were local studs. They were the heroes on, the, you know, Kenny's dad ran Wayne County, ran a modified and a late model and was winning in both of them. Their dad was winning everything at Lakeville and a modified, built his own cars back in those days. Yeah. And, and like I said, they, our dads all drove semi together. So kind of like Ed, John was the mechanic on the, in the semi world. So all the guys, I know my dad did, took all his semi to, to John to get fixed and John built trucks and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, from like I said, from kindergarten on, I've known these guys. I met Kenny in, in high school. Yeah. Wow. We're not talking about huge towns here either, fellas, right? Okay. Apple Creek? Apple, Apple Creek. Creek. <laughs> Is it Crick or Creek? It, it, well, it, I'm either... The hick from Apple Creek or the geek from Apple Creek, either way you look at it, you know. The important so, question is, do you wash the car or do you wash it? Well, I, I used to wash it. Now it's wash it. So I've moved well, up what, into it. What changed? Do you got more you know, wash it, now? You know, I, I didn't realize the, the dialects in different areas yeah. and different things. And, and, and wash, I thought was, wash was pretty common in our yeah. area. But when I ran my, my race at Lima Land, Bob Fricky was the promoter at Lima. Ohio, which is Western Ohio. Mm -hmm. And he would say, wash, we're gonna wash down the grandstands, you know, after the, and that's the first I'd heard it outside of our area, you wow. know. <laughs> Brad, you always told me about fixing. Remember that? Oh yeah. So you gotta tell that story, because I always remember that. I, when I drove the 4A car um, 
to Ron Pack. You know, they were from Little Rock, Little Rock, Arkansas. And Tony Wilson was from Memphis, and it's the crew, and they're all a bunch of young guys. And we were all four or five of us in one hotel to save money, and they're always fixing to do stuff. And I always said, you know, why are you guys always fixing to do stuff? Just do it. Quit fixing to do it. Just do it. So we worked on the car, and we're, we had a night off, and we were going to go do something and uh, probably go to the bar or something. But he's starting to grab the, gather clothes up out of the suitcase. I said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm fixing to take a shower. Well, he, he, he said that. I grabbed all my stuff. I said, while you're fixing to, I'm going to take one. And I slammed the bathroom door. <laughs> he was so mad at me. I said, I've been trying to tell you, quit fixing to do stuff. Just do it. Uh, that's good. Uh, Speaking of motel rooms and showers, uh, Bobby Allen told me a great story how they used to sleep under the truck and stuff in the parking yeah. lot. And they would wait for someone to half leave the motel room door open when oh, they yeah. checked out. Race inside and, 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 and take really? Oh yeah. Take yeah. someone take a shower before they checked out? Yeah, but back in those days, you know, that that with before the key card and stuff, you had to yeah. take the key back to the and a lot of people would just leave the door open or or you know, I, I knew a kid <laughs> that uh, worked on a car, he did that all the time. I mean he'd wait to see and, and sometimes they'd walk in and there'd be somebody in the room and they'd, oh I'm sorry, wrong room, oh. you know, and and, and uh, so yeah, you couldn't get away with that, you know, nowadays. So it's it's a little uh, different time. Wow. Yeah. How how incredibly fortunate it is for all four of you to be doing what you're doing still and to have collectively lived your dreams and still be buddies now. Like that's Kenny, that's phenomenal. Uh, not really. We were friends when we started and we were going to be friends when we ended. Yep. Just the way it is. We've just been friends, period. Yeah. We've been but friends you... through thick and thin, through oh, yeah. everything, not just racing. We've been friends. Well, after I got hurt, these guys were, I mean, yeah. oh, I mean, they really stepped stepped up for me after after my injury and did, did a lot of things that were, I'm sure, hard on them. I don't want to bring this thing down, but I know they went through hell just, you know, as much as, as I did probably, you know, and, and uh, so I really appreciate these guys doing that. But I, to lighten things up, a quick Bobby Allen story, talking about sleeping under the truck. Bobby Allen, and these guys will all agree to this, Bobby Allen, Steve Smith, Jan Opperman, all the Pennsylvania guys were kind of our heroes. We had Rick Furl in the state of Ohio, but the central Pennsylvania guys, they'd come to Wayne County Speedway. And when those guys would show up, I mean, we just couldn't wait to see these guys. And I remember Bobby Allen, his own cars, and he looked so little, and it, like the string was way oh, up yeah. here, and it looked like he could hardly see over the dash. We were, and, and I was in the 6X Sprint car running, I think some little track in, in uh, West Virginia, and Dub May and Bobby Allen showed up, and back then we ran in and out boxes. Dubby's car was locked in gear. They'd run Pennsylvania the night before, so they drug the thing off the trailer, and all night long they'd literally scooted the car around to get it in, in the lineups because they couldn't didn't have time to fix it. Well, at the end of the night, the I look over and Bobby Allen is standing at the back of his trailer, and him and Dub are sharing a pack of hot dog buns, not hot dogs just the buns <laughs> they talked to the concession stand into giving them a package of hot dog buns and that's what they were eating then the night and i admired these guys so much i wanted to be a full-time race car driver sprint car driver and i thought boy if that's making a living in a sprint car i'm not sure this is what i want to do or not but you know, those guys were living the dream and and they were our heroes that's for sure yeah it's funny you bring that up because kim tells that same story and kim's like God, I don't want Kenny to do this. <laughs> you know, this is how you gotta live. Yeah. yeah. What was the what was the biggest payday you had, Brad? Uh, probably asked Scott when I won the Pacific Coast Nationals. Huh? It, it was 1986. It was 10,000 to win. We got a new Rodec aluminum block. Um, all yeah, kinds you won of, lots of cool stuff as well in that yeah, race. Yeah, Craco uh, stereos were big back in those days, and we got you know stereo equipment. And oh, I, yeah. I think all in all we left like with 20 grand worth of stuff and then jw hunt was also out there and oh, if those nice. that don't know jw hunt was a strawberry farmer yeah and he would show up at a racetrack and he'd pay people's tire bill fuel bill or just hand out wads of cash to whoever he thought needed it well he decided he was going to put up a three thousand dollar bonus for the highest overall average yeah. to run uh the next day was a non-wing uh cra race so since we won the night before with the wing on, we thought, man, we have no choice but to take the wing off. And I hadn't run a lot without a wing. Um, and we're running fourth or fifth in the race. And Jack's like one or two cars in front of me. And 
I think I'm doing really good, you know, running Ascot without a wing. That was places intimidating with a wing, not to mention without. We were, yeah. we were downstairs watching video, watching cars flipping like, like a popcorn machine, man, they're flipping out, flipping out of the place, you know, every every other lap. So we 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 ended up winning the overall. We finished fourth or fifth, won the three thousand dollars. So it was like a twenty three south three thousand dollar weekend. Yeah. But more to that story, he was right in front of me with just like two or three laps to go. And I still to this day don't know how he did it. He ended up winning the race. And he, I mean, he went from fourth or fifth yeah. to a lap or two to go yeah. with non wing against some of the best in the country at, at, at Ascot yeah. and, and yeah, won that one. race. You remember that like it was yesterday? Yeah, yeah I remember that one. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. The yeah, two of fun. you, um, historical big one weeks, um, phenomenal prize money, like at the time, life changing money. Um, and we won't talk about the Mopar just yet because that was the next level again. But Kenny, can, what was it like to win $100,000? Um, I don't know how to explain it now because it doesn't seem like much today. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, know, you know, Kenny, I'm just <clears throat> real quick. I, I, somebody brought that up we, at watching, I was up in the suites this year watching. So I Googled it and $100,000 today is $204,000. Yeah. So they brought the big one back and it pays a hundred thousand, which is still good money today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in today's value, that's that's two hundred thousand dollars. Fifty thousand. So Earl owes you one hundred and four grand. The way yeah. I yeah. <laughs> it was a funny story because I had to run the B main, and I won the B main to get in the A main. Then I won the A main. So then afterwards, Dan Motter has us in the holler, and we're split money up and stuff while well, he hands me fifty dollars for winning the B main. That was my half of the hundred. And he gives Kim a check for fifty thousand. <laughs> well, she didn't do anything. What did she get fifty thousand for? Yeah. Well, I can tell you, we uh, always went from there to here, and it started raining that night afterwards. And Kim and I jumped in the motor and went back home to get that money somewhere. And the entire way home, I'm, I'm telling her. Man, that is a lot of money. <laughs> that is a lot of money. Did you pull over the side of the road or someone just look back in the back seat and go like, wow, our lives just changed? No, because she didn't let go of it. <laughs> <laughs> All I had to do was look at the pastor so she still had it. Right. <laughs> it was good. It paid our kids, uh, paid Jen's yep. college. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first couple of years, paid our house off. It was all good. So wow. I never saw any of it. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't sound like Patty at all, uh, Jack. I'm pretty sure you kept all the money, right? P pretty much the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that at the time the biggest amount of money that you'd won? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mopar Man? Yeah. yeah I mean, definitely. before that, you won the HBO, yeah. though, as well, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, I won it first year, Kenny. I won second, second year. year. Yeah. So, yeah, that was. And you won that was what, on three? three? King's Rose? Yeah. Yellow race cars, both from Ohio. Yep. Yeah, that's right. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. so that, that was a good, good couple of years. I was yeah, here when you won the front row challenge at Oski as well, because that was pretty pretty big deal yeah, back in the day too. Was, yeah. Yeah. I still yeah, think Joey he paid spun out too to get. <laughs> Joey gave it. Yeah, to I think he paid Joey off. Yeah. <laughs> my Carl thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he came down and said something. He said, "Did he? You guys have that set up?" I said, "No." Still, Joey's too good to spin out with two laps to go yeah. when it paid that kind of money. Yeah, Joey spun out. And I'm, I'm watching it thinking, what, what What? did he just do? You got yeah. $50,000 $50, for that, right? Yeah. 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 So if he paid Joey five or ten, that was yeah, pretty exactly. good. Exactly, Brad. <laughs> what are you implying, Brad? Yeah. What are you implying? Well, I might have went on. Yeah. I don't know. This is yeah. not horse racing. Hey, we've been friends for a long time. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're starting uh, to apply yeah. a little here. How, how do you process the Mopar Million win? Like, how do you... That's enormous. That was a long time ago. Oh, now. that was yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't even really think about it at the time, but without yeah, a wing too, yeah, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came yeah. home and I'm like, Damn oh, skippy. that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was okay. You remember those ones, yeah, don't you? All right. <laughs> wow. You remember being an Ascot, Brad, when he jumped in that midget on yeah. running a little track at Ascot, and you and I were in the infield on that tower thing watching him. And he had never been in his car before, and he's coming and coming and coming. Damn if he didn't win that race. Yeah. And a midget and Sleepy Trip, all the good guys. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, Jack smoked him in this midget. Yeah. We're like, yeah. holy <laughs> shit, man. Yeah. 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 Jack could win in anything. Yeah. It didn't matter what it was. I recall a story with Bob Hampshire when you were driving for Bob, and I think he said it was Kokomo or something like that, and you had a big one and rung your bell a little bit. You sit down on the edge of the trailer and the car's on the trailer, you know, and 
he, he wandered over in hamsters. You come wandering over and you're like, hey, how'd we do? And, uh, and Bob goes, we crashed. And he went, oh, okay. He walked back. He come back about five minutes later. He go, where's the wing? It's like, it's a non-wing show, Jack. He's like, just go and lie down. I, he rode with me a couple of times. He crashed and got a concussion. And, really? And I, I took him home. I needed Jack he, a couple of times. He asked times. me, where are we at? About a hundred times. Yeah. So. Jack crashed. was about to knock me out again. Yeah. He heard it. <laughs> he heard it enough. Yeah. 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 He rode with me, heard a couple of times. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I, I'm really glad you you are here, Ed. Because yeah. a couple of years ago, like that was really scary. We talked about this the other night, you know. And I mean, goodness gracious, yeah. I, I thought you were you were gone for all money. I saw you on a push bike one minute, and then next day, it was spooky. I mean, yeah, he's doing good now. Yeah. Yeah, you're a tough was... old bastard, you Horton Shields, aren't you? <laughs> well, yeah. You're a tough old bastard. You guys. You hang on pretty tight. <laughs> Yeah, he got that off my dad. He was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got a chrome plate set as well. But what, what do you remember about all that, Ed? Do you have any sort of you had, uh, had a stroke, correct? Yeah, but I here at the track, I don't remember anything at the track. Uh, they put me on a helicopter and took me to the hospital and took me back to where I live. But I didn't remember a lot of. I talked to people, but I didn't remember talking to them. Yeah. It took, uh, this, this weekend's three years, and it took wow. three years to learn everything, so I'm learning most of it. Yeah. I told him he still owes me that 200 bucks, but uh, he <laughs> said he, for some reason, he can't remember it. I don't, I don't know how that works. I still go down to his shop, and he does some work for me, and he still, he does yeah. a better job than I, than I do now. <laughs> he doesn't lose much, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the quarry story. I call it a quarry. The stone, what, what, what do you call it? Is it a rock quarry? The, yeah. In, in your book, which is incredible, the still wide open book. <laughs> yep, yep. You know exactly what I'm going to ask you about, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Oh, were well, you really? <laughs> yep. So tell but, me what the story. You know, Bobby Allen, again, is a, a story about Dub May. He said Dub May was one of those guys, he could jump off a cliff and halfway down think, oh, crap, I could get hurt doing this. <laughs> Well, that's Jack Oddenfield to a T. <laughs> and we, there was a stone quarry that massive cliff into the water. At least there was water, it wasn't ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was still a long way to the top. And so I had jumped off a time or two with some friends and it took nerve every time. And I'd already done it a few times. I take Jack over there, he walks up, looks over the edge, <laughs> takes about three steps back and bails off. He has no idea if the water's two feet deep or not. <laughs> I'm just pulling his leg, you know, and he you, you hit and Kenny were up there, and I wasn't sure if they really jumped off or not. <laughs> he I, went, think they were, I didn't know if they were messing with me. It's far enough up that it take you go deep enough down, it oh. takes a while to pop back up. Yeah, yeah. And I was never so relieved in my life to see him pop back up. It took, what are you doing? The water's great. Come on. You know, it's like, holy well, crap. Good <laughs> shit we have to do it then. You, had yeah, to, yeah. you couldn't let him show you up. He was younger than yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys live this life, so it's your life. But do you ever get surprised? Jack, you're a great example. People are so fanatical about you. I mean, you boys, you boys must be so proud of your mate. You've each had incredible careers, but um, this guy's... His status is phenomenal. I know you're not comfortable with that, but I don't care, Jack. <laughs> people love you. Are you surprised to this day at just how fanatical people are about you? Yeah, well, you know, it's nice to have fans like that, you know, and, and uh, you know, my wife sells them T-shirts, and I'm like, you know, I, I can't believe, you know, people still buy them, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, just a it's kid a from Worcester, Ohio, who never really did much schooling, all you uh, wanted to do no, was, no, was race? No, we weren't much into school. <laughs> <laughs> but you were into schooling people, uh, yeah. right? So everyone's got a horde story. And for you, it's just you flip the switch on and you go and drive. But for us sitting in the stands, when that 22 would push and just get away from that truck, you just sit there and go, hold my beer, watch this. <laughs> you know, like, um, and you, you all have made careers from that. And Brad, yours ended way too soon because so many people tell me that you just had a... I'm not going to get you to respond to this or yep. get these two. How good was this guy before he finished up? Yeah, it was, a, championships. It, it was unreal. I mean, Brad, I ran, he was running a lot of seconds that year, went in and run a lot of seconds to Steve, and I was actually running Ooh. thirds and fourths all year. That year, ran behind him all year that year with the outlaws. But Brad yeah. was a heck of a driver, and, and uh, sure. he did he did a heck of a job. What was his qualities, Kenny? Like, what was, what was... Well, Brad... 
unlike me and Jack, was a little better set up. He could take care of his own race car. He knew what he wanted to do and what he needed needed to do. And um, he was just smooth like Doug Wolfgang and brave like Steve Kinzer. So Whoa. he had to pack. Ooh, yeah. how about that one? Yeah. Hey? Wow, I'll take yeah. that. <laughs> he would have won the World of Outlaw Championship many times. I yeah. guarantee you. Hey, I don't know about that. Nah, right. bullshit. We're not asking you. That's right. That's Shut right. up. Okay. We're, we're the guys that you were beating. So right. let him talk to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, what was nice. that? Brave like Wolfgang? What was that? What, what did you Brave say? like Steve Kins or smooth like Doug Wolfgang? <laughs> Wow. Can someone write that down, please? Yeah. Y'all heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. You got, yeah. We got, I'm glad we got this one too. You <laughs> can make a great yeah. T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Have you ever met yep. anyone that worries as much as this guy, though? Because like he, he's a gas, but he's an old lady. Well, you were pointing at a Jack, and I'm thinking, no, hey, no, Jack no, 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 no. We are, we are yeah. opposites when it comes yeah. to that. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brad. Brad worries, yeah. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Has he always been like that, Ed? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, he sure was. It's a fault. He's a, know, he's a oh, nervous Nelly. God. I don't know how he does it as a promoter. Yeah. He's a big yeah. gosh. You gotta see me on oh, race yeah. day. He's nervous. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. You should have seen him before a race. I mean, when we get ready to leave the hotel. Tell he's like a daggone woman. Man. He's got a hair dryer on. He's doing all this shit. And me and Jack are like, about shit, let's go. And Brad's got to be See, I was laid back. I was perfect. Yeah. Brand new boots. Remember the brand new boots oh, yeah. in California? Yeah. Had boots. to get them on. Drowned them in water. They had to be perfect. We're getting ready to go to Ascot. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah. let's get in the car and go. Yeah. And Brad's like looking in the mirror, like, this isn't right. This is so. I'm glad he didn't have a makeup package Jack, tell me, tell me something. Yeah, how true, <laughs> how true, true. How true yeah. is it, Jack? Yeah. 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 Listen to these guys, Ed. You're the quiet one and you just, sit down there. Just laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's always been that way. Yeah. Yeah. So explain the connection with, uh, with your families, Kenny, with the Hordes and with the Jacobs, how that whole thing works. Um, well... For a lot of years when we were kids, we drove by our wife's house, yep. and Ed would say, there are some good-looking girls live right there. <laughs> and, Did uh, you drive by really slowly? Or oh, just... yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I ended up going to school. Uh, I was three years older than Kim, and I didn't know Kim until she was a freshman. I was a junior. So um, I ended up marrying Kim. Ed ends up marrying her sister, Tam. So there were good looking girls, and by God, we got them both, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Well, there were three of them, and the other one was too young. We had to stay away from her. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, we got two of the three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. How did you wear them down? Like, well, what was that, you know? Oh, geez. I don't, I think yep. they, they chased us. What'd Kim and Dad say? <laughs> they, 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 they definitely, dad said, not what's the old, racer. yeah, yeah. What's the saying? They definitely outkicked their coverage yeah, yeah, yeah. When, they, when they landed the Smith girl. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I know, they I, sure did. I know I wasn't with the shit in Kim's dad's books, and then all of a sudden Ed comes along. Oh, boy. Oh. And, and her dad says, not another damn racer. <laughs> so then Ed comes along, then Louie comes up. Louie marries the youngest sister. And the first thing Kim's dad says to Louie, you don't drive a damn race car, do you? <laughs> Isn't it mamas don't let your babies grow up to date cowboys? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Like, fall in love with them? Yeah. yeah we were kind of cowboys. Yeah, there you go. We just rode. Oh, yeah, we yeah. rode. We were cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Me and Brad yeah, were cowboys. Yeah, yeah. We rode horses together. Did you really? Oh, yeah, we grew up on horses. I rode a horse yesterday. Did you? I saw that. Wait till you see I was that. proud. Yeah. Brad yeah. had the fastest one. Yeah. The fastest pony. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, 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 we. I bet it was a good looking pony, wasn't it, Brad? Good looking pony. Kind of tear oh, and stuff. Yeah, man, and the hair dryer out. <laughs> well, I got a funny yeah, horse yeah, story. We were, I, I was actually showing horses. We came home from a horse show, and Wayne County Speedway was having one of their Buckeye Classics when they started at Buckeye Classic. We had to unload the horses to get to the farm across from the track because of the traffic on both sides of the road. We couldn't get through the horse trailer. So as I'm riding that horse to the barn, I'm thinking, these guys are making a lot of money in them race cars over there. So the next week, I asked Dad about digging a race car out of the fence row on the farm. No. And he thought I was digging it out to sell it for junk. Dad comes home in a truck, and I got it up on jack stands, got the wheels off, and he says, uh, what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm trying to get this thing so to run. Well, what for? I'm going to race it. And that's actually how I started racing. Really? And then yeah. I met these guys, but... 
I was riding home on a horse thinking I'm making no money on this horse. <laughs> and at 17 years old, you're trying to find an easy way to make money. <laughs> and racing looked pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my horse and racing story. Yeah. Did you ride horses? Oh, yeah. I guess you're all farm boys, like, you know, small town. Yeah, he you know. was a farm boy. He was yeah, a farm Brad boy. Really? We'd farm, go to yeah. his house on the weekend, and I'd help him bale hay. And I'll bet he didn't Brad, do that very many weekends. No, he didn't hit Brad's him throwing him up there like nothing, and I was yeah. pulling him back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad was the toughest of us, yeah, too. Yeah, he was. Oh, he really? Was the yeah, toughest yeah, of he was a farm boy. I mean, I didn't mean to say really. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what you said, Ray. It's all in the inflection, Brad. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm not sure the first six months I knew him, he didn't have a black eye. Yeah. That shows how uh, tough I was. I really? yeah. black eyes. People beating you up. Yeah, it was always, you should have seen the other guy. Yeah. 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 Every time I go back, to anywhere near your area obviously the amish people it just blows my mind yeah um and i went to homesville got in trouble got in trouble because brad's like hey you know you're just around the corner from apple creek aren't you <laughs> yeah so yeah. i'm too busy washing the car yeah 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 that's how we learned how to get barely to. 10 miles <laughs> yeah yeah that's that, how we learned how to get through lap traffic there you go <laughs> getting around the amish wagons yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Jack. Yeah, yeah. I never heard that before. Yeah. Tra a traffic jam oh, in our area. You wouldn't believe it on Sundays. Yeah. A it's traffic like, jam yeah. in our area is when you get stuck behind a buggy yeah. going up a hill. Oh, it takes yeah. you forever. Yeah. You either yeah. duck around them and, yeah. and, and take a chance. Yeah, you yeah. take a chance up over a hill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. At the time, it was just what you raced and what you did, but it was such a simpler time than these kids that are right. Look, I mean, look at Sheldon, right? The, mm -hmm. the corporate pressure that, that he's under, the constant scrutiny the yeah. streaming every moment is recorded and played back yeah we didn't even think about racing for 11 really no, no not was, one bit we just no, raced no. we were just having fun raced on yeah. the weekends and you know and them kids now are trained and yeah. race 40 races a year and know what they're gonna do yeah you know yeah. wade you mentioned yeah. earlier about us you know us four from the little towns that yeah we, we you know Holmesville's population what 450 of four, apple creek's 450. about 900 millersburg where these two are from is, Three or four thousand, maybe. Probably somewhere around. So there. small towns are mm -hmm. you know dotted throughout. You've been in, uh, in yeah. Ohio enough. You've seen these little towns, but it is pretty amazing. And, and my son-in-law, one of one of my son-in-laws, but he's he's 22 years old and doesn't know a lot about racing. And he brought it up just two days ago before I, when I was coming out here about how ironic it is that four guys and he compared mm -hmm. it to and other people have too. Four guys coming out of a maybe a, a high, small high school like Waynedale, the school that Kenny and I went to is four or five hundred people yeah, back then probably, yeah, yeah. but to and West Holmes wasn't not much bigger not right? much bigger but to think to compare it to say four football players high school football players from a, a, a high school of four or five hundred people yeah go on to make it to at least college mm -hmm. football or yeah you know Sprint car racing, the world of outlaws is the NFL of sprint car racing. But, to, you know, and it, looking back, it is pretty amazing. And Ed very easily could have made it yeah. a living at it if he'd wanted to. He bowed out early. But for the four of us to start out, at, you know, a little podunk Lakeville like we did in Wayne County Speedway to, to go on to run with the world of outlaws and, and have the careers we had, it's it, looking back, it's yeah. pretty yeah. remarkable, it's really. Pretty cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, um, I was driving through Pennsylvania last year. Hey, asshole! <laughs> That's the way they, they greet you over there. I'm pretty sure you guys remember that. Probably not you, Jack. You're probably Switzerland when it comes to it. But um, I went through New Oxford and, and I saw a sign. I was like, oh my God, Stevie Smith. Yeah, yeah. Racing has put little towns on the, on the world map. Oh, yeah. Right? Everyone in Australia knows there's a place called Worcester. Yeah. Everyone yeah. in Australia knows a place called Holmesville, <laughs> right? These little places yeah. are, the communities owe racing a very big amount even if you can't measure that financially yeah. see we were the same way when, when I was talking about earlier about Steve Smith and Opperman those guys coming to Wayne County Steve Smith senior mm -hmm. was you know from New Oxford Bobby Allen from yeah. uh, yeah. When we, Hanover. Hanover, you know right down to even though he tells me he's from Florida well yeah, I, yeah. he was originally yeah yeah, yeah. but I, and but a lot of those guys you know moved from other like Bobby Allen Opperman Steve Smith uh, the the Mays were from Texas. Yeah. They all immigrated yeah. to Central Pennsylvania because yeah, yeah. that's where the money was at. Yeah. But but you know uh, us as young guys, we knew, you know, I was gonna think I was thinking of Lincoln earlier. When but you know Bobby Allen from Hamlet, <laughs> Hanover, and then Stevie Smith or Steve Smith and Junior from New Oxford. But yeah, when we 
got a chance to go to Pennsylvania to see these towns, see Williams Grove. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was like, that's where these guys are from, and to yeah. see their shops and, and things, it was, it, was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. When I spoke to Doug um, Wolfgang last year, he he's not comfortable with that people celebrate so much something he wanted to do anyway. Mm -hmm. he's, he's uncomfortable with it. He, does, he doesn't feel right about people saying, wow, you're my hero, I, 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 you're such a legend. He goes, man, I was going to drive that thing anyway. I didn't do it to, to sell T-shirts. I did it because I loved it. And that's yeah. what you guys are telling me now. Sure. There's yeah. still the essence of what you did and you should have done longer. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, I'm is glad that you he didn't. didn't. I wouldn't have won as much. <laughs> It would have been hard to beat both yeah, horns. Yeah, it would have been, yeah. 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 So the essence of what you've all done is just the pure love, and you just got to do it together. Yeah. Well, yeah, we were fortunate there, but, you know, nobody starts out. I mean, you don't make any money at this. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky if you make any money at it, you know, yeah. and, and, and so we got very, very lucky. But, yeah, we just enjoyed it. It was, it was something to do on the weekends, and, you know, just something we really had fun at and it turned into something more than we probably ever could yeah. have dreamed of oh yeah and I, I think without verbally or physically either one boosting each other up mm -hmm. just uh being buddies and wanting to be good yeah that everything one of us did the other one thought man that's cool and yeah. it just helped us all and yeah. i think yeah, uh, yeah. i think our careers are where they are because of all of us together really yeah. I exactly. think yeah. that, uh, yeah, I agree. you know, when, when I think Jack probably won big races before any of us. Well, when he ran got second, year in car when or he something. ran second at Eldora, yeah, at the, yeah. was it the Eldora Nationals? Nationals. Called, it's called the Nationals, yeah. He ran yeah. second with no power steering. You know, when, when yeah. we were running, like I said, little, little Lakeville, he goes to Eldora, and I mean that place was, I mean, yeah. It's it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. Eldora, the status, yeah. the status yeah. of that place. But for him to go out to run seconds, like holy moly, yeah. we gotta step it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can we, we gotta step that? it up? And then he went to Australia with Jack Ewell, and yeah. he's like yeah. 18 years yeah. old. He's like he's halfway around the world racing yeah. a sprint yeah. car. How does he do that? You know, that's something I want to do. Yeah. I, you know, so yeah, we all pumped each Definitely. other. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And now, all of you would be super proud of this scrawny little kid that. Is his kid? Oh boy! Right? Yeah. Like you're. Yeah. That's another beautiful part of what we do. You're sitting here watching Sheldon. You're kind of like, oh, well, you are an uncle, but you're kind of like <laughs> proud old uncles watching his kid kicking ass. Yep. Yeah. Like, wow, he, your boy is very good, Jack. He is yeah, really he's been good. running good. Yeah, he yeah. he makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that a beautiful yeah, irony? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Somebody right? making Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He didn't even watch that B main last yeah, year. Remember, I stood yeah, next to you yeah. when he just made it. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't even watch it. A lot of times, I can't. I text him Obviously, quite often. I uh, yeah, I text Sheldon quite often. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just yeah. to something, say something, you know, yeah. get him do this. Uh, yeah. Um, I love him like my own kid. I mean, he is, if, and I've said this about Jack forever. I say the same thing about Sheldon. Mm. If you don't like Jack Hoddenshield, you better look in a mirror because something's wrong <laughs> with, with you. you. <laughs> and Sheldon's the same way. I mean, yeah. If you don't like Sheldon well, Hoddenshield, Kenny's boy's the same wrong. way. Yep. Kenny's yeah. boy's yeah. the same way. Well, my boy did more like I did. He got married and went a different route. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he actually put the priorities in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> My priorities were race car, yeah. his were his family. Yeah. So. I think everybody's kids here at this table turned out just oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. And that's because of the women in your lives, not because of you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, right. 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 on the head there. Yeah. Thank yeah. God there's still women in America that are still trying to piss their parents off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you that's so right. much for sitting down with me. And I, Gonna keep saying it. I'm really glad you're here, mate. Oh, We're yeah. really worried. Me we too. lost you a couple we of years are, ago. Yeah. We we all are. So uh, even if you said he didn't want you on the racetrack, we still want you around the racetrack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank He's you so be, much for your time. You. Somebody's got to fix our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So one of the guys has got arms like Arnold Schwarzenegger pulling front ends out of this guy's <laughs> car over the years. <laughs> Good yeah. to see you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much for coming along. This is so good. Uh, you can round of applause all you like back here if you like. 